All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for three rounds of action in the junior welterweight division. Fighting out of the red corner with the Puerto Rican flag trunks, weighing in at 138 pounds, representing American Killer Bees with a record of two wins and zero losses. That's undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. From New York City, Justin Basco. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the gray trunks with the purple trim, weighing in at 139 pounds and representing Seton Jim. Also with an undefeated record of one win and zero losses, from Queens, New York, Pierre Mark gentlemen, we got over the rules in the dressing room. I expect you to follow them. Fight clean, fight hard, fight fair, protect self at all times. Listen to my instructions at all times. In the event of a stoppage, go to neutral corner so I tell you to come out. Touch gloves now, come out fighting. So Aaron, <laughs> we've got two undefeated fighters here. Someone's walking out of here with their first loss. This will be an interesting matchup. Yeah, Justin's a little bit bigger than Mark, a little taller than Mark. Hard low kicks right off the bat. Justin's a more active fighter to start, picking his targets. Yeah, he's scoring with nice hands, nice legs. Pierre seems to be the kind of stalking style of fighter coming forward, throwing heavy. But Justin's a little bit more movement. Good boxing. Again, it's Muay Thai versus a little bit new school kickboxing. Good low kicks, though. Good slip, but didn't make him pay. Good punch there inside. Definitely we got some boxing experience yeah, in the ring right J here. Justin's got some good slips. Mark, Mark needs to capitalize on that when he's down low like that. Yeah, Pierre Mars really got to let those legs go to counter that boxing or get that clinch going. Yeah. Nice jab Mark, inside. Pierre, Pierre needs to stay in tight. He's a little short, but he needs yep. to stay in tight. He's trying, but we got a slippery one in Jason Basecombe. Yeah. Justin, sorry. Ju Justin's doing a great job here. He's controlling the fight. He's picking his shots and moving right now. Pierre's a little heavy on his feet. Good low kick there. That's how you slow down the guy that's been bouncing around that ring on you. You gotta land that low kick. And you can see Pierre's, Pierre's got heavy legs. He's got, he, oh, he, he's huge legs he's compared the thicker to. thicker fighter, period. I mean, if he yeah. could, looks like if he could land, he'll do some damage, but. Now he's in, now he got a little clinch work. Doesn't look like uh, Justin's got much clinch work there. No, but he's boxing the body inside yeah, well. But those aren't gonna do anything. Those yeah. aren't scoring. No. Those aren't scoring, and those don't do any damage. Both fighters doing what they do best there. One throwing the big leg, one throwing the counter punch. Oh, Pierre tried to get in, ate a few shots for it. Good. Really a clash of two different styles here. Yeah, Pierre, Pierre, there he, now he's in the clinch, hit a couple good knees. Those knees are scoring. That was a nice inside knee. That'll take the movement out of you. Both fighters actually scoring with the knees inside, but Pierre really is controlling the clinch. Yeah. Got to give it to Justin. He may not know that much of the clinch, but he's staying active. Hey, you know his corner just told him, in the clinch, don't punch the body. Knee, knee the body, because he started kneeing yeah. this round. Yeah, score points. Don't give all your good work away. Good straight kick. This is this is an interesting matchup. Oh, oh beautiful high big kick. Big head kick for Justin. Puts Pierre on the ground. And he's stumbling around. Oh, it's yeah, going to be questionable if this is going to continue. He can't answer this. He's, he's staggered. He's staggering. 
They're going to let him there continue, go. it looks let like. Let him continue. Referee Joel Becker letting him fight. That was a beautiful yeah, kick. Yeah. He needs to cut right. Oh. Roe going. He needs to go with the head with this. Justin needs to work that head and stay on him. And oh. there's another straight right. There's oh. another straight right. He needs to push off, throw that head kick again. Oh, push off, throw the head kick. Throw the head kick, and he'll get it. Justin's going for the kill there. Good job for Mark. Staying, uh, staying safe in that round. This, this just really puts a lot of confidence in Justin when you get knock a guy down with a head kick like that. Is he going to play it safe, or is he going to go for the kill? Let's see. Nice takeover. Pierre caught that kick, dumped him. Right, Justin working that jab, getting that head again. And Pierre's really, he knows he's behind. He knows he's really got to get in there, so he's trying to push that action. But he's looking, he's reaching for things now. Oh. There. Oh. Big hands, big hands and knees from Huge Justin. combinations. Oh, my God. Big this and fight's over. He gives him an eight count. No, it's not over. He's down the eight. He's going to let the damage continue. Standing eight count. At this, at this point, Pierre has to knock him out. If he doesn't knock him out, he's lost this fight. Justin's not breathing him. Justin's supreme confidence right now. Yeah, every time he hit him, every time he's dropping him, landing yeah. solid, Justin's just getting more and more confidence. He's a fresh fighter right now. Looks like he might have a little Taekwondo in that background. Yeah, Pierre's tough, though. He's coming forward. He's, he's trying. He's in the fight. And he just landed a really solid knee inside. Yeah. That's it. Whatever reason, Justin's punching the body as opposed to kneeing. So good for Pierre. Let him keep working those knees. Those are scoring. I don't know though, Pierre. I, I don't see a knockout occurring no, in this no. clinch. You know, he really should be going for the distance. Those knees are not enough to negate that knockdown. I also don't think he has the answer to get uh, in. There's another big head kick. Justin's pretty much landing at will at this point. That was a great fight. Really entertaining fight. Good fight. Good fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have our winner by unanimous decision. Representing American Killer Bees, Justin Basco.